what he said has already uh, stirred the hornet's nest, mm. so to speak. And um, it's not the first time from day one he has been at odds with the obedient movement. Um, he hasn't agreed with them on anything. So nobody is surprised with what he's saying today. Professor Shoinka is a controversial figure. He's not the reticent type for someone who put a gun on the head of a broadcaster in his early days to stop him from announcing mm. an election. Um, he is the epitome of controversy. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Now welcome to this YouTube channel. If you're doing it, first time you see this channel, make it offer to hit on the subscribe button. If you don't subscribe yet before, thank you and God bless you. And if you're doing it, first time you see this Facebook page, Fuck everyone who are making off it to like or follow this page for more videos or update to come your way. My people will not come back again. I tell you how to say how things they go out matter the play. I dare to bring a coming at dust and wanna say how the things they unfold. Without wasting much of your time. I won't play video for now more year. Wait till this our sister talk for any Wally Show Inca. You see, eh? Once all these old men do they cut shame, then now you go see people will be say they respect them before we come to see them finish. Now be waiting happen to Wally Show Inca. Well, you cannot know the kind of respect we people get for him before. But when this 2023 election just start, Wolisho Inka just come aside, begin to fool himself. Wolisho Inka never respected himself. When they start this election, 2023 election, Wolisho Inka cannot respect himself. They hit on Peter Obi, they hit on Labour Party, they hit on obedience. This man never one day respected himself. To say, okay, let him sit down and see what in the apple around the country. This man not come outside to talk about what in the, around, the apple around the country. Only what this man will do that they attack Peter Obi, attack Labour Party, attack, you know, obedience who want the betterment of that country. Guys, before I go play on this video, please, if you know so you follow me for Facebook, and you know they see my video the way they saw before, please now Facebook now they either make no sign. Follow me for YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Africa Jama First Lady TV. In case I post the video, you'll be the first place to see it. I mean, enough to please follow me for Instagram. Let's eat 10,000 followers on Instagram. As you do so, God bless you. Guys, make I play this video for now. Mona, yeah, with this, I will start talk. Then we'll come put our own take on this issue. Well, let's show you, car, that man, eh, he don't fall in hand eh, for the full country. The respect we will get for that man, eh, don't die like mad. Everybody, they respect that man before. Believe me, you. Me, and number one person. We respect Wolisho Inka. But now, as the matter be now, that man don't lost a lot of follower, lost a lot of respect because of waiting. He just starts when this 2023 election just starts. That man is really travel bigot. Now Wolisho Inka be. Watch this video, they will come back. What he said has already uh, stirred the hornet's nest, mm. so to speak. And um, it's not the first time from day one he has been at odds with the obedient movement. Um, he hasn't agreed with them on anything. So nobody is surprised with what he's saying today. Professor Shoinka is a controversial figure. He's not the reticent type for someone who put a gun on the head of a broadcaster in his early days to stop him from announcing an election. Um, he is the epitome of controversy. And um, he has earned his, uh, his place in society and so he is the darling of media organizations and people that do events because he's unafraid to speak his mind and to say what he wants to say. He's the type of person that would advise you to, you know, blot out your views and let the chips fall wherever they may. However, on this particular matter, it seems that he is not reading accurately the mood of the nation. There are hopes and aspirations of young people that have been dashed. And these people organize themselves to see if there can be an opposition to the APC and the PDP. Or the PDP particularly that hasn't offered any opposition to the APC. And the way that the elections were conducted, it is a very difficult and unpleasant experience for people to talk about. So you have to be sensitive to that fact. I don't think he has been. Mm. Also, these young people that he talks about, they think and they believe that Professor Wale Shoyinka's generation, President Muhammad Buhari's generation, President Bola Tinubu, and the rest of them have wrecked this nation. For people who had the best that this country had to give to them, and they are giving it back to the younger people in broken pieces, and wouldn't even leave the space for them to put together the pieces and see if they can patch the nation. This is what we're dealing with at this time. So other people have to be mindful of what is happening 
and have to be sensitive to that. So I think a lot of people are not going to take this lightly, mm. and I think he will lose quite a bit of following right. um, with regard to what he has said. Okay, guys, you guys, you're listening to this lady. You heard everything she said. This is the same thing I said yesterday on my previous video. I said it. Wole Shoinka never regard anybody in that country, Nigeria. Wole Shoinka only look onto his own self. Wole Shoinka insult obedience, insult Peter Obi, insult, you know, people that want betterment of that country. Wole Shoinka. And this man never came out to condemn the act of APC. Wole Shoinka never came out to talk about this atrocity that the government, Bola Met, Tiftinibu, and his cohort have done to Nigeria. Wole Shoinka never came out to condemn it. Instead, any little space this man had, it will come out and start bashing on Peter Obi, bashing on Labour Party, bashing on obedience for no reason. Wole Shoinka is one person that everybody respected in Nigeria before. But the way the matter seems now, everybody hates Wole Shoenka in Nigeria. Because look at the problem in Nigeria today. Wole Shoenka never came out to speak about it. About the foil price, about the crisis of everything, you know, the hunger in the land. Wole Shoenka never came out to talk about it. Instead, he keep on supporting Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu atrocity in the country. This man believed that Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu won the election. And he knew Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu won beat, never won this election. He knew it. But just because this man is a tribal bigot, he stands for his tribe. I'm Yoruba. I'm doing Yoruba thing. See, this set of people, these are the people who destroy Nigeria. They don't want the betterment of that country. I said it in my previous video. I said, Wale Shoinka don't want the betterment of that country called Nigeria. If really Wale Shoinka want the betterment of Nigeria, the way Nigeria youth came out to fight to get a better Nigeria, Wale Shoinka will stand and support Nigeria youth. Let's get it right this time. But Wale Shoinka never did that. All he could do is to hit on Peter Obi, hit on obedience, hit on Labour Party, calling us religious movements. We are practicing. In short, our movement is religious movement. That's what Wale Shoinka said. And he said, Labour Party leadership aligned to Nigerians. Who are these Nigerians that you are talking about? We are the Nigerians. We are the Nigerians. We are the youths who stood to get it right this time. We are the youth who this country, Nigeria government, APC to be precise, have marginalized us long time ago. And we still to get it right this time. But Wale Shoenka came out to say no. He wants to stand against the youths and support the evil government who has been marginalizing the citizens for the past eight years. Wale Shoenka, Muhammad Jubri, this baller I met, if you we're talking about today, so. This set of people are the ones who condemn this country. Wale Shoenka don't care about the nation. He don't care about, he don't even know what is going on in Nigeria. Wale Shoenka don't know what is going on in Nigeria. All he cares about is about the money that they will give to him. When he talk good about this government, they will put money in his, in his account. That's what Wale Shoenka care about. He don't care about the citizens. How they fail in the country. He don't care. But this time will tell Wale Shoenka that he bites more than he can shoe. Nigerians, if you have been following this idiot called Wale Shoenka, unfollow him. Don't listen to him. Because this man don't like good. He don't want the betterment. He don't want the good of that country called Nigeria. Look at Nigeria today. People are suffering. Mothers, fathers, children are crying just because of this bad government. Students are crying. They cannot go to school. The government have increased their... Wale Shoenka did not come out and condemn it. Instead, in support of it. This is the same person in his time put a gun on journalist's head. This same man 
who came out today to condemn the obedient movement, to condemn Labour Party and condemn Peter Obi. This is the same man who Peter Obi took picture with. Peter Obi respected this man to the core. But look at how this man is giving it back to Peter Obi. That is to tell you, you see some of these professor who call themselves professor, many of them, they just want to be that name. Just the way Bola Ahmed Fitin said, I want to bear that name, president. Just the same way, many of these people are bearing that name, professor. They are not professor, they are stupid people. Many of them are stupid people, like this man called Wale Shoyinka. I said it before, I love this man like mad. But since this election started, I've been watching this man, watching his step, watching everything this man is talking about, talking about Nigeria in this manner. Then I came to realize that this man is not the kind of person we need to, you know, pick words from. If you listen to this man, you'll be discouraged about Nigeria. Yeah. You'll be discouraged about that country, Nigeria, because this man has no good intention in that country. Look at the youth today. We all stood up to get it right by our own self. Because we are expecting the leaders to fix this country for us. But they failed to do it. Now the youth stood up to say, okay, we need to put an end to this government who don't want the betterment of the country. We need to stand and get it right. That's why we came out in mouse. We came out in mouse to support Peter Obi. And this man who called himself stupid Walesho Inka came outside to turn us down, call us religious movements. Then we are Igbos. We that are supporting Peter Obi are Igbos. It's Igbo race. Then what about the Yorubas? Some of these Yorubas who supported Peter Obi, what will you call those people? What about the Northerners who supported Peter Obi, what will you call those people? What about the Igbos, Edo's? Edo to be Edo state to be precise. The full Edo state are for Peter Obi. What will you call those people? The Igbos? That's when I dropped, finally dropped everything about this man called Wolisho Inka. I dropped everything. I deleted him. We have followed him. I deleted everything. I don't want to see his profile, anything that get to do with this man anymore. Because you see this set of people who don't want the betterment of our nation. We need to kick them out. Wolisho Inka is one of them. These are the cabals. Even when things was going on then, 2020, in the time of answers, this man never spoke anything good concerning the answers, concerning the people who came out to kick against answers. Walesho Inka never spoke anything good. It was even against the citizens. Now I remembered. You know, when this man talk, if you don't understand this man's speech, you might think this man is supporting you. No. This man tried to use English to break it as if he is trying to support us. No, he's against us. Try to use English to twist our head. But trust the good Nigeria people who understand this English. We come outside and interpret that English to those who don't understand what this man is talking about. Then we interpret it again to people understanding. Then you would know that this man is not for us. He's against us. The same thing. He did in this 2023 presidential election. He once said it was not a rank where they conducted this election. He was away. He was not at home. Then when he came back, he started hitting on obedience, hitting on Peter Obi, hitting on the youth who supported good government. But he never hit on M. Solu Omo and Bola Ahmed Tifti Nibu Talk. He never hit on those people. Instead, hitting on Obedient and Peter Obi. Oh, Walesha Inka, your hand is now. All this evil leader who don't want the betterment of Nigeria, this is what you guys are going to be facing from us. We're going to insult you guys, beat you guys, so you guys will be a RIP. Like I said, any leaders that disrespected himself, the youth will insult them. Just the same way Walesha Inka did. Your respect is gone. Nobody regards you. Nobody respects you 
anymore. Definitely, some people will respect you. They will like what you're saying because those are our enemies who believe that Bola met if Tinibu won the election. Those people will, oh, yes, Walesha uh, Inka is saying the truth. But we who believe that Bola met if Tinibu never won this election knew that you're saying the wrong thing. You're saying the wrong thing. Peter Obi is our president. Peter Obi will remain our president and will call him our president. Bola Ahmed Tinibu is not our president. Bola Ahmed Tinibu will leave that place very soon. And you, Walisha Inka, don't worry. God will expose you all. Guys, I will end this video. Please help me to share this video. As you all do so, God bless you. And please follow me on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Africa German First Lady TV. In case I post video, you'll be the first place to see it. I don't fail to please follow me on Instagram. Let's eat 10,000 followers on Instagram. As you do so, God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye bye.